Hello, this is Stephen Benyon, and welcome once again to Realms of Tranquility. I want to first thank everybody for their wonderful comments that they gave me um, on my other two videos, and um, really appreciate it, really hope that they help people out, and that's the whole mission here, is to make the world a better place, and I think that uh, maybe this will help some people, so really great. Um, today I want to talk about something that's really important for everybody to have. If they don't have it, they can develop it. Some people have it um, naturally. Most people have to work on it. Okay, And this quality is called charisma. Uh, charisma is paramount uh, to being a successful person with other people. And by mean successful with other people is I mean, you know, so that other people can relate to you, have be interested in you, and want to hear what you have to say so that you can, you know, get across your positive energy, your positive point to them, um, what you want to talk about, and, you know, how you can help them to feel better about themselves. Because nobody's going to listen to you unless they really know that you have a genuine interest in them. And charisma is one of those key characteristics that really a lot of people need to work on. And almost every um, major celebrity, uh, politician, um, you know, rock star, uh, a lot of CEOs of companies, they all have charisma. And that is a key component to what attracts people to them, why they're successful, because people listen to them. And there's a lot of people out there that have a tremendous amount of knowledge. They have a tremendous gift of, of talking and energy and everything. But the problem is, is people tune them out. And the reason that they get tuned out is because they lack charisma. And charisma is really what attracts people to listen to you. And if you don't have it, then they're never, you know, they're not going to really pay attention no matter how much you know. Because the old saying goes, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. So if, if you're not, you know, caring about other people and just talking about yourself all the time, then, you know, people really don't want to be around people like that too much. And, you know, if they have to be around you, they're really not going to listen to you. They're going to tune you out. And it's very easy to to uh, identify when they're doing that because typically people cross their arms. Body language uh, is, is like paramount in this too. Um, you know, cross their arms. Um, they'll look... Um, you know, past you, uh, they'll look off to the side um, and take interest in something else, somebody walking by, um, you know, and uh, they'll abruptly change the topic to something that interests them. Why? Because you're not showing enough interest in them. And that's what char charismatic people do, is they take an interest in other people so that they can spread positive energy out of their body and their soul into that other person and that's why they're so popular that's why they do so well in life a lot of times and you know you shouldn't want to be charismatic because you want material gain you should be doing it for um, the right reasons to make the world a better place to help other people and to draw other people to you so that you can make them feel better about themselves and who knows you may even save someone's life there's a lot of people out there that are you know very unstable especially in hard economic times and they really need somebody to care about them and uh, you can be that person so um, you know I just want to touch on a couple of key components to being chariz charismatic uh, the first one is being able to relate to the other person and kind of be a reflection of you know what's going on with them okay and how that happens is real simple you want to find out um, what makes that other person tick and or what's bothering that other person and you want to focus on that um, and talk to them about that before you even mention anything about yourself or what um, you know you want them to do for you or or how you know um, your you know situation is of interest uh, to the conversation that's fine you can do all that but the main focus is you should make the other person uh, the the main topic of your conversations and project that image back to them so that they can see themselves reflected in you and they can relate to you and that's going to attract people to you that's going to make people want to know about your story 
and and how um, you know you can maybe make a difference in their life, and that's what this is all about. Um, you know, the other important thing is is you want to um, always use another person's name um, when you're talking to them, which is really important because um, you know one of the sweetest words uh, to them is their name, uh, and so everybody likes to hear their name when someone's talking to them, and it makes it more personal and it shows that you have more of an interest in them than just um, you know talking to like you know anybody without addressing who they are I mean everybody is special everybody has a name use it um, be interested in the other person is really incredible is, is, is one of the most incredible things that I see um, that a lot of people don't do is is they like I said earlier they don't take a genuine interest in the other person they just want to get what they want to say across but they don't want to listen to the other person and and have an interest in what they're saying and that and that's like number number four in the topic is you know listen um you know that's why god gave us two ears one mouth you're supposed to listen twice as much as you speak however people you know do quite the opposite and that really hurts a lot of people because people just tune you out even though you might have the best positive message um you know whether it be a religious message or you know, uh, uh, something that great that happened in your life and how that could maybe happen in their life and you want to get them excited about it, you know, you, you've got to be a good listener. You really do. And genuine. You can't be, um, you know, just like one of these people, I, I can't stand it, where they, where they just, you know, um, oh, yeah, that's great. Oh, that's awesome. And you know what? I, 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 me, 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 um, that just turns people off immediately. Don't change the subject abruptly. Don't, you know, try to, um, you know, relate everything to you that they're talking about. Keep it focused on the other person, okay? And then, you know, the other thing is, is always keep a nice little smile on your face um, because, you know, um, I always try to smile and, you know, people always wonder, like, what are you smiling about? Oh, well, you know, I'm glad you asked. Um, you know, I'm just... Uh, you know, focusing on the positive things in my life right now. And, you know, oh, well, don't you have negative things happen? Oh, absolutely. But I focus on the positive, and that keeps me smiling. Oh, well, that's great, you know, and it's, 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 a, it's a really healthy thing to do also. People can even tell when you're smiling over the phone sometimes. Um, so it's, it's really effective. Um, the other thing is a lot of people don't, uh, you know, want to help other people. You know, they'll listen to their problems, but... Um, they don't want to offer genuine help, um, and, and people can detect that. So you can't help everybody out, but what I mean by help is is that, you know, you want to try your best, okay? You know, like, oh, um, I'm having this problem uh, financially. Oh, well, you know what? Um, you know, uh, have you tried this? Have you tried that? You know, maybe I'll look in and, and make a couple of calls for somebody, and, you know, maybe there's, um, you know, somebody that can help them out, and, and really try to help them. If you really care about that person, um, try to help everybody you can. Okay, of course you can't help everybody. It can. A lot of things are just out of your control. And you say, "Wow, I'd really like to help, but I just don't have anything in that that area that I could really help you with." But you know what? The person will be thankful. At least you made an effort. Um, but if you can help, really try to help because it's all about karma. It comes back to you. Don't do it to get something in return. Do it from your heart. Okay. And last thing is always be authentic. Always be you. And always, um, you know, come across as a real person. Be real. Never try to be something you're not. Always be a real person. And people will love you for you. I hope this uh, helps everybody out. This is Stephen Benyon checking out. And thank you for tuning in to Realms of Tranquility.